Your history of film is a history of ideas and pioneers. Um, how is it important to state the, these two uh, ideas uh, in when we think we are brought to think that movies are about money. Absolutely. Every day you open every newspaper and you see the box office of a film or you see who has won an Oscar or you see something about show business. Cinema is not about those things. If you sit down with real filmmakers like Scorsese or Bertolucci or Abbas Kiarostami, they are talking about imagery and visual ideas. Luckily, we're in a country, Italy, which understands visual language. Th this country, more than any in Europe, has understood that we make meaning and poetry and transcendent ideas out from imagery. And um, that's what cinema really understands. The money people do not understand the, the human heart or the poetry of cinema. And so that's why cinema is led by ideas. I passionately believe that. I know that's a, against what everyone thinks, the commercialization of the world, but I passionately believe that cinema is led by ideas. It's its fuel. Also, what you do in your, your work is uh, to uh, have a, an Hegelian approach, 30, 60 degrees uh, around the globe. This is the first time it's, it has been done. And uh, we, uh, no, matter, no matter how much we think we know about movies, we, uh, you mention movies that we never heard of. So uh, how, fe how, felt, uh, how did you feel when uh, some sort of uh, Christopher Columbus uh, of, uh, <laughs> uh, of film history or, or what? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, thank you for that. Um, I am angry about a lot of film history. A lot of film history, as you know, is written by white men who speak English and you get a white male English language view on the world. That's simply unfair uh, on the great filmmakers from Africa and the Middle East and the Southern Hemisphere. It's simply unfair on the great women filmmakers. And so I, it's not that I'm a sort of campaigning, uh, uh, making a manifesto for cinema. It's simply I'm saying the, the playing field has not been level. We have been unfair to the filmmakers of West Africa. We've been unfair to the great women filmmakers. And let's evaluate them properly. Some, some, some historians try to revise to be punk, to be a punk about film his, about history. I'm not. I'm not just trying to shake things up. I simply believe we need to be honest and give people their dues. And you also talk about the influences. Yes. Uh, it's interesting how. Uh, movies from Japan uh, change uh, movie history in America, and then the American movie change the movie history in Italy, maybe, and Italian movies uh, as seen in Africa. So, uh, it's uh, how hard it was for you to uh, connect all the dots. Influence is a crucial thing for me. I, I, I studied um, art history, the history of painting, and you can see clearly how Cimabue influences Giotto, etc. So you can see these connections, and I think that they are absolutely there in film history. I'm lucky enough to know a lot of filmmakers, and so, you know, if you talk to Scorsese, he says, look, we saw Il Conformista, and it changed things for us. It showed us that you could marry a serious political sense of the world with the musicals of Gene Kelly.